What is up, you guys? So I did want to share a recent Farfetch purchase from Prada that I made. If you follow me on Instagram, you may not be surprised, but if you don't, let's get started. I kid you not, I checked out lightning fast. It wasn't like, let me think about it for a day. Let me ponder it over a week. It was one of those very impulsive purchases, which doesn't happen to me like frequently, especially lately. I'm just very, no, no, you know, and then I have those long chats with myself. And this was one of those things where I was like, these are the ones, these are it. And so I had a similar situation with my Prada loafers that I did with these. I knew I was going to buy a pair of these this year. I was sure that I was going to buy them. And I had settled on these over here in that color. And the only reason why I hadn't was because of the price point, to be quite honest. I have in the past purchased rubber shoes from Gucci, several. But the price point is palatable, I guess, for rubber. And I feel that with Prada, the price point isn't palatable for rubber. It's rubber. Let's get a grip. It's rubber. Never really wanted them in black just because I thought that they were going to look too harsh on me. That color was perfect and it was just one of those things Let's that I it over with. But I kept waiting and waiting and then once these came up, I thought this is what I've been waiting for. Crazy enough, these were more expensive. I purchased the monolith sandals in the raffia material in this like beige color. It is a perfect color. Even though these are a creeper look, they're not over the top. They are actually very feminine in, in their appearance. I, I think the color really softens these so, so much. And so I was trying to figure out why these were more expensive because it made no sense. Raffia might as well be rubber. <laughs> and I thought I, I, I couldn't, but I couldn't not get them. So, and I think they might have already gone up in price, you guys. It, it's insane. But these are actually lined in leather. And so I think that explains the price point. Does it justify the price point? I don't, I mean, I love these. They're, they're so good. Um, and they're going to look so good with linen, light denim. They're just really amazing. I actually have a feeling that these are going to be really, really popular. I don't know why I think that, but I, I could be wrong. I just imagine that these are going to be insanely popular. But who knows? I know that I literally it was one of those things. I saw them and I just couldn't stop clicking away <laughs> at the purchase. And I'm wondering if any, I, I, I haven't seen anyone else buy them. The price point is not very palatable, but they're so, so good. And so I did want to share them with you guys because I know that the pointed toe uh, monolith ones are sold out, sold out. They're gone. They're not even producing them anymore, which is so sad because they're so good. And I feel like these are that. These are like a second iteration of monolith sandals, right? They were initially in rubber. There's other monolith sandals that I think are full leather, which are also really good. These I feel are like timeless and just so, so good for vacations and stuff. I am just like so excited about these, you guys. Let me know what you think of these. I am obsessed. So I just wanted to share them with you guys really, really quickly. That is it for today. I really appreciate you watching and I will chat with you guys later.